Hey guys, welcome back to some more Dion Door commentary. So uh, we have Sanzi here. Yay. Yep. So we have Bwing 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 Bwings for life. <laughs> Bwings versus Prime Chaz seven hundred and fifty. Yep. So Bwings for life with ten twelve. Chaz for life with nine eighty. So Chaz. something with Supply Squad is it Yang Zing? It's all scraps. I've been seeing too much of that fucking card today. <laughs> Way too much of the fucking supply squad. Yeah, didn't, didn't we see it today? Yeah, and it was also in Holly's video part two. Oh, great. Like, I'm seeing way too much of that car. All right, should all. I don't understand why it's why we're see, seeing it so much. I mean, think about it. It launched hype. Oh my god, so good. Then no one ever fucking plays it, and now we're seeing like it all over the shop. Yay, should alls. I hate that card. I hate that card so much. Supply squad. Yeah. It's like one of the mm. dumbest cards in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. Like the point of Yu-Gi-Oh is to use your resources and if you if your opponent summons something stronger than you, they get rid of your monster, you neg. Not fucking Oh, my monster He's died. Out. Yeah. Or even plus, depending on how many yeah, fucking you have. Like it's fucking retarded. Like it's also retarded that they stack, but Konami doesn't fucking care. No. What no, what's funny though is when a Yang Zing player plays like two or three of the fucking things and you deck them out by destroying their monsters. Shit. <laughs> I've done that to people. <laughs> that was fucking great. Fucking Yang Zing makes you want to play Bujin so, so you could just keep on attacking their monsters by Sasana in a while. Like you're gonna run out eventually. <laughs> So Shadal, alright, so he did Shadal Fusion already, so there's the Winda, what did he send? Baco and what else? Okay, I didn't see. I don't know. Squamata? Probably. Yep, Squamata, yeah. send Dragon, Dragon send... pop the Supply Squad. Mm -hmm. I hope you get the present. I do. Oh, yep, it is Yang Zing. Yep. Yang Zing's with Trap Archfiend. Not Archfiend, not Trap Archfiend, Archfiend Damn, what the up. fuck with that name? I know, that's what I was talking, telling you about Nefarious the other night. Archfiend I was like, Nefarious? Nefarious Archfiend Eater of Nefariousness. Why not Stupid. just Archfiend Eater? Seriously. Damn. That's, that's actually, though, a pretty good card for that might uh, be the you back. That might be the contender for the longest name in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, shit. <laughs> I still think it's uh, Vemininaga, though. Vemininaga. Yeah. Vemininaga, deity of the poisonous snakes. Like, it's a fucking long ass name. Yeah. Alright, so what you gonna do? Just end your turn, or what? I suppose. No, he's probably gonna go in for that damage on the hedgehog and get deprisoned. What? <laughs> Hello? I didn't understand what you just said. I said he's probably gonna go in for the uh, damage on the hedgehog, the Yang Zing player. No, I was, I was asking if the fucking Chaz was done. Oh, right. I'm like, wait, dug on the damage on the hedgehog? Like, why would he take his hedgehog and ram it into fucking a Yang Zing like that? For <laughs> no reason. Hey, you don't know. Look at his rating, it's way too good. Hey, <laughs> So, I'm trying to figure out what the Yang Zing guy's gonna do about fucking the Midrash. Uh. Oh! Oh, that top deck! Oh, yes. fuck this number generator! <laughs> top deck! <laughs> Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> uh, no, no. Oh, fuck that! Mate, so. just, just scoop it up, dude. You last. Yeah, I guess. Although that is a cute, that is a cute tech with the uh, archery data. I'm not calling it nefarious archery data of nefariousness. Fuck that title. Damn, he was just like drop dark arms. Like, really? <laughs> he went anime. He went anime. Oh, he, he, he's he like, was like, he's like, fuck this. Scop Scop it up. Win. Let's scop it up. Like, damn. It's it's really sad that neck not neck off, so, um fucking shadows exist because. If Shadows didn't exist, I could actually see them, uh, what's it, Cosmic Dragons or Yang Zings, whatever, being, uh, actually meta. 
I probably could see him because they have a great matchup versus Cleaper. It's like, what are you going to do? You're going to keep smacking me? Okay, I'm going to go into the fucking graveyard. Oh, you want to uh, break... Not break... Yeah. No, no, skill no, drain. Skill, skill drain. If you want to break... I don't keep saying breakthrough skill. If you want to skill drain me, that's cool, because I still get my effects. They they play skill drain. Well, competitive versions of the games, anyway. Yeah, some do. I personally don't like it, but, you know. I remember uh, I was saying to Yuki Fly about skill drain, how I don't like it in Yang Zings, because it negates your extra deck summons effects and you want their effects it's all well and good it being everything negated on that and your yang zings are like well i my effect out of it in the graveyard so i still get my effect and shit like that but you know but i was saying like i don't like how if you get the biggest play is to go for a box here pretty much and shuffle three away and you can't do that if skill drains up yep and yeah but Yugi Fly did point out something good. He's like, yeah, well, if you have, um, if you make it with the water one, Bixie, then it's neg it's unaffected by a trap, so it's not negated by the skill drain. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, that's good, but point, but it still means you've got to use that for every special summon at that point. You know, from the extra deck. Enjoy your if time. It, to do if it if it isn't using, yeah, if it isn't using, um, if whatever you make from the extra deck deck as a synchro is not using that Bixie when you have skill drain up then you're just hurting yourself. So he's playing light ones with it. Oh, Compose, Torrento. He's playing that Chaos Light Swarm deck that's been topping all over the place. I swear to god, like Compose, Torrento, Dark Arm, like what's up with these fucking number generators? They need to fix is no one on here ever realizing that this is a problem. Like, really? Like, no, no, no. Unlimited cards are fine. You know, they're limited to one for a reason, so you should always constantly get them. I'm guessing you disapprove. Hell yeah, I disapprove. Makes me draw you bell all the fucking time. <laughs> you want to run multiple you bells just so I don't draw them all the fucking time. Hey, hey, you ain't the only one. Shit. <laughs> fucking cosmic you bell and on the live stream, I draw my fucking one you bell, my one bloody Armageddon Knight, and uh, ultimate. I'm just like, what the fuck is that? See, and that's why my cosmic keeper, I switched that Armageddon Knight to a dark Greffer, so in case I do draw you bell, I'll still I do. draw that one. I run triple fucking Greffer as well and triple Rota. See, but you gotta run that one Greffer. It doesn't work if you run triple, you're never gonna get him. <laughs> no, it's just fucking retarded. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Like I said, this guy's probably gonna lose. Yeah, probably. The Yang Zing guy's probably gonna lose. Because Yang Zings, they don't. They need your opponent to commit to your plays, and right now, it's pretty evident that he's not committing to anything. Like, you know, he needs, he needs that Yang. I mean, of course, the, the Arch Fiend here helps, so. But yeah. still, right now, <laughs> this duel is slowing down to a screeching halt because he won't commit. His uh, Shadow player is not committing to anything. He's like, nah, I'm good. So he's just like, you know what, I'm going to summon that window and I'm just going to fuck you up, so. <laughs> so he's just going to take that, that uh. What that deck line. do you think would win between uh, Dragon Ruler, Full Power, and Shadol? Dragon Ruler, Full Power. Mm. What about um, Dragon Ruler, Full Power versus Cleepers and Slash Neckcloths? Dragon Ruler, Full Power. Power. Um, you think that deck's like the tits? That deck is the tits. Mm -hmm. What the fuck would Klee put or fucking uh, Nefclops do against full power dragon rulers? Well, it depends really who went first. Because typically, if they've got the uh, the gins on the Nefclops side, then you just okay, go, stop okay, with the fucking make something the gins, with the swear. What's up with you and the fucking the gins? You know they would have triple blaster and shit, so black to pop. Yeah, that's true, actually. <laughs> so, yeah. Fucking... But if you have that Valkyrius, he can't be destroyed. You can just picture it. So there. Or is it good here? Oh, God damn! Again! Mm -hmm. Oh yes, I love it. It's fucking ridiculous. Then fucking shut all fusion right in the fucking hey, window. This, and that's, this fucking Shadow player, he's like McDonald's up in this bitch. He's loving it. Fucking retarded. Like hello. <laughs> I love like, it. What's up with that fucking dark arm? Like what the fuck? Break. 
Briggs for life, hashtag skill, leaves the door. I don't blame him. I really don't blame him. Mm -mm. Fuck it. Let's get another one in. That was retarded. That was stupid. Bear back. Yeah. Oh, God. He's a tough monkey. Yep. Tough monkey. And he's got that serious face for his picture. Yeah, the, su the Supreme King. <laughs> Hi, friend. <laughs> Hello. How are you today? You went, you get fucked up. No. You're a fucking forty-six card deck, and you're only two hundred and seventy-two rating. God damn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought I thought when they did the fucking pairings, they actually paired them up like close to your fucking. They're rating. meant to. They're meant to put them in a uh, pool where it's similar rating and similar skill level. So the. the so once again, DN just being stupid. Got it. Yeah, so DN, DN's pretty much saying that this guy with 46 card light swans and 272 506 rating is equal in skill level to and rating to the 1023 1674 rating Tough Monkey with a 40 card deck. Is that Tough Monkey though? He is. He's too tough. Fucking Acrobat Monkey be jelly. Skill is trash. All right. Huh. Yes. Oh, warning. So, what's up with the uh, this number generator? I swear to God. Which all right? Which one would you say is better or worse, DNs or uh, Dev Pros? DNs is out? way worse. <laughs> yeah. Like DN, I get like two limited cards per hand every duel. Yeah. DNs way worse, but they're both bad. They're both just no. If I had yeah. a nickel for every single limited card I drew, I would be. You'd have, rich. You'd have a be, lot of fucking nickels. Seriously, I'd be one rich motherfucker. Bill Gates would be hating on my ass. I'd be so damn rich. <laughs> mhm. Mm right. Mhm. Mm oh, all Alright. Of course, it was Shadows. Of course, it's Shadows. He's fucking top rated duels. Of course, it's Shadows. Shadows, the that's always a... pro. Uh, welcome to uh, Shadow Dual Commentaries, where all you see is Shadows. <laughs> <laughs> Best fucking Dual Commentaries ever. Some beast, draw a card, flip up that Falco, Falco sets the beast. Same old, same old. Mm -hmm. Yep, there it is. Yep. Beast effect, Falco effect, Squamata effect, pop your curry bandit, you don't get to do shit. Eat a fat dick. Hey, but that's similar uh, skill level according to Dianne, so. Mm hmm. You know. How do you I think, think it's. How do you think Shadow I... should get hit? BLS? No, I don't think BLS should be hit. I think it no, should be more no, Shadow. No, I was wondering what he's summoning. Oh, right, okay. No, what do you mm. think should all, what, when should all do you think should be hit? Oh, I'd say first, I'd say a good start would be that Shadow Fallen, and I'd say Hedgehog. I'd say limit Hedgehog, limit Shadow Fallen, so limit, and uh, semi-limit. Shadow, uh, shadow should, what? Sh you know, Shadow Fallen, or whatever it's called, Squirming Shadow Thing. You, that, that trap card that he just activated. Sinister the one Shadow Games? That's it. I, it. I'm thinking about the OCG name where it was called <laughs> Squirming Shadow Fallen. <laughs> I know in OCG they hit Sinister Shadow Games, so... Yeah. I think they should hit Shadow Games, they should hit Shadow Games to 1, Hedgehog to 1, and they should hit, um, personally, I think they should hit fucking Shadow Fusion to 2, just to lower the consistency of getting it. Like, you can have your quick play bloody uh, Shadow Fusion, that one. You know that shitty El one? Fusion. El Shadow Fusion, you can have that shit. I don't give a crap about that. But it's the Shadow Fusion because you have an extra deck monster get punished. Yeah, pretty much. That deck wouldn't be shit without Construct. No. You know, I think it would gonna... be to beat that deck if Construct never existed. Yeah. Just summon something stronger than fucking 22. GG. <laughs> pretty much. Utopia could beat it. <laughs> 
I can't shut off you shit into a window and then I'll sit here and look at your fucking big ass. <laughs> Mathematician. I think mathematician should get hit. I'd say semi. Semi? Yeah. I was thinking that too. I think in semi it um probably I don't know. I'm more when it when stuff starts to become annoying, I'm more uh, into hating it. So I'll be like, okay, get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this. So I would say personally, semi um mathematician and limit Felice or just fucking outright ban Felice. They're not even using Felice anymore. I don't know. I just don't like it. It's fucking one card black rose, that's way too powerful. That is too fucking powerful. Sorry, one card field nukes? Yeah, no, 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 no. And before someone says, oh yeah, well, Batterymen have short circuit, which nukes your, only your opponent's field. Yeah, but you have to have three di you have to have three Batterymen monsters to play the I don't think anybody was saying that. I think if anybody was saying anything, someone. I think they'd be saying fucking uh, Exiton. Yeah. Mm. What the fuck are you going into? That's true. But at least Exiton, Why? you can count. Because he can. And he's probably going to Miracle synchro fusion what oh I don't know. oh he has bls of course he does Duh. really you should have removed two before bls but whatever duh of course he has bls all right well beat that ass effect banish and now you're fucked so the other guy gets dark on this guy gets bls i make uh I told, you, I told you fucking DN was way fucking worse. <laughs> it's fair. Don't... Hey, look at this. It's completely fair. Come on. Mm -mm. But DN... But DN... It paired him up in rating. There was similar rating and skill level, clearly. Come on. Mm -mm. It paired him up. It's infallible. He shouldn't even made that fucking deal. Like, that was risky. Mm-hmm. Again, oh, you know, what else? No, going in the bills wasn't too terrible. Nothing that he could have. Well, I was about to say then again, what the fuck do you go into really in that deck? Mm -hmm. If you go, if you can sink eight, what do you really fucking go into? Yeah. Yeah, because he quit, so he Wait. wins the match. Wait, why did he draw a card? Didn't he, wasn't beast effect was this turn, wasn't it? Yeah, because he flipped it up, drew two, and then discarded the falco, and then reset the falco. I don't think it really mattered. It didn't matter, but, you know, he, he, he fucked up. Like, why did you Argonite Magician pop the beast just to get nothing? Because he can only use one of its effects only once per turn, only once that turn. So, he already used the flip effect. Because he's a retard. I guess. All right, I'm going to go ahead yeah. and call it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of... Uh, should all do commentary. Should all do commentary. So one gets fucking dark arm and one gets BLS because fucking BN and fucking number generator is ridiculous. Ah, I swear. <laughs> like, of course you got it. That's it. You start running, you start running you bell at three. I should. I would draw it way <laughs> less. Three you bell of every form. Go for it. I bet I wouldn't even draw it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You should actually fucking do that. One video, just be like, all right, I know this is weird, guys, but I put you bell to three, and we're going to see if we draw any of the you bell forms. And if you go that whole video about drawing a you bell form, I will just fucking just fuck do, do whatever you fucking need to. Jimmy, whatever decks you need to, <laughs> to get that. All so right. stupid. All right, so. I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Dando Commentary. So thank you, Stanzi, for joining me. No problem. Thanks for watching, and we will see you guys tomorrow with another episode.